Construction established! Hey! <laughs> Welcome, and it is Wednesday, 15th of June, 2016. This is the Wednesday Wonder video. Your host, Chris Collier. And as you can see, and I can feel, it's another miserable day here in Prince Edward Island. It's only about 8 and it's raining. And I actually got the heater on, heat on in here. Now, the wine for this week is going to be the wine that's in this jug. Which is a one of those homo wine kits. They're simple enough for an idiot to do, because I can do it. Now all I gotta do is get a burst of this out of there. I ain't gonna be fancy. Entertain the troops while I'm gone. So I got this little, uh, I don't know what it is. It's a flower. I think it's a wine carafe. So I'm gonna fill it full of wine and take it out to the deck and enjoy. Now this is the thing I used to siphon it out. Unfortunately I broke the little valve on the end there so I gotta get a new one. So I'm waiting for that before I bottle it. So I should be able to steal out a, a portion of it. I've cut myself. Uh, don't worry about the mess in the floor, Van. I'll clean that up later. Uh oh. I need some more. Look at the mess, Ben. Oh, I need more. Ah, it's beginning to siphon again. I guess he can't see all the mess that's on the floor. Maybe he can. Yeah, I'll get that cleaned up and we'll get going here. I'm surprised Ben isn't cleaning this up, but I don't know if he's much of a wino. Yeah, the floor's all wet and dirty anyway, eh, Ben? <laughs> Okay, that went exactly as planned, kind of. I'll edit it out so it can fit in. I'm sure. I should bring this towel outside too, because I needed a towel out there the other day and I didn't have one. Okay guys, let's go. Let's go then. Have a nice day! Okay, so we made it out to the deck. Oh, easy! How much sleep does a kid Welcome. That's the question. It actually drops. And somebody's actually just pulling in. Get older. Now, the American Academy of Sleep or turning around. Medicine, they've issued their first ever uh, guidelines. For it was a black truck. I don't no know anybody that drives a black truck. If you have an infant, I can't tell. 12 to 16 hours a day. And he's just turning around. A little black Toyota. Okay. So this is the wine. To do that doesn't mean that's what they do. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear that up right now. Because it's a Zinfandel. It's dark. World. Yeah, this would be awesome, right? I can't see the light uh, through her. Children one to two years old need 11 to 14 hours a day. That naps included. Um, smells pretty good. Very bearish. Five need 10 to 13 hours a day. Cheers. Nine to 12 hours for children age six to 12. I have eight-year-old twins, so uh, yeah, their bedtime's about 8:30, and they sleep till about 6:30. Mm. So yeah. They're getting 10 there. Oh, and then, uh, teenagers, that's pretty good. To 18, like all uh, homemade wines I find are good to drink. So my 13-year-old uh, is sleeping as a 5-year-old should be. But again, every, everybody's different, but uh, that's what they... Seems done. like there's a moderate amount of booze in there. I don't know what to come out. 14, something like that, percent? They stop at 18 years old. Right? I, guess cause I thought we'd look at uh, hours, the Australian Army pack that uh, Frank gave me. Are you I had some stuff out before. For 
Instant noodles, oriental flavor. So they're like ramen noodles? That's a good idea. And the, the rations nowadays, these are Australian rations, I think. Hunger Buster 24 hour ration pack. 24 hours. They got all boil in a bag stuff. Meals ready to eat. Product of New Zealand. Uh, hopefully it says somewhere what it is. Oh, there we go. Barbecue beef. I bet you that's good. Instant mashed potatoes. This must be cereal. Yeah. Muesli cereal. Fruitful with skim milk powder. Is that water, I guess? A dark chocolate bar. Uh, cereal bar, apricot. Might be a couple of those in there, maybe. What's this? Cereal bar, blueberry, and apple. Biscuit cream cracker. Many pieces. Some of the stuff I had out already, like the coffee and stuff. This little packet is... All fruit bar, mixed fruit. Oh, fruit bars. Cereal bars. We have a tube of jam, strawberry. Remember in the old Canadian Army rations, we used to get tubes like this? Of jam and peanut butter, honey, and dairy spread. Whatever the hell that was. Sweetened condensed milk. Oh, it's like Eagle Brand sweetened condensed milk. Milk sugar lactose. It contains milk. Manufactured in Australia. What would you do be besides you put it on your cereal bars? I suppose you put it in your coffee and tea. Oh, wait a sec. There's another yeast extract. Yeah, <laughs> you know what that is, don't you, Ben? That's uh, Marmite, or Vegemite, I guess, for Australians. <laughs> I'm not going to open this. I'm going to keep it forever, Ben. Forever. <laughs> and this is some of the stuff I had last, uh, when I got it. Uh, sugar, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, squash. And sugar. I had some salt and pepper here somewhere. I don't know where it went, though. That's pretty good. That's for 24 hours, one main meal, and a bunch of snacks. I suppose, if you're busy fighting uh, the good war. And, uh, for three of our ration packs a day, you really gotta go through the old calories. Which we do, but there's a lot of calories in those. I don't know how much is in here. Oh, maybe it says. So the breakfast is the... Thing. The lunch is the instant noodles and crackers. Dinner is the baby, the barbecue beef. Portion pack foods. Hunger Buster 24-hour ration pack. Is this an official Australian Army thing, Frank, or is this? It looks official. It's all the same color. That means anything. Okay. Uh, calorie, calorie, no calorie counts. I'll have these one of these days. Maybe a cold, rainy day like today, Ben. And we'll eat 24 hours worth of yum yums in about 24 minutes. I like this idea with the uh, noodles. Because a lot of the guys buy these overseas. So they might as well put it in with the rations, eh? Oh, there's uh, cracked pepper. There. So that was good. A lot of good stuff in there, I bet. I get to them around. One of these days this summer, I'll, I'll eat them up. Other stuff, I got some uh, mosquito coils. $4.50 for 10 of them. At the store. And a nice metal tin. I got two of them. I also picked up. Today, my uh, seafood place opened up, so I dug up a dozen of these quahogs. They're called quahogs. 
and our hard shell uh, clam. Uh, they're different than the bar clams I had. Uh, they're, this, they're clam, but they're a different kind of a species. This one won't uh, lick salt. I don't think. Maybe I should try it, eh, Ben? So a dozen of those, that's $6, and a dozen oysters. Right from the bay here, the Colville Bay. Good afternoon. Officials are hoping for the best, but oh, fearing the worst. After an alligator dragged a two-year-old boy into a lagoon these are choice. at Disney Resort in Orlando, Florida. Smells like salt water. And these are twelve dollars. A dollar each for oysters. A dollar. Oh, another thing here is uh, it's a fifteenth. So uh, here in PEI, the, the gas goes up or down on the fifteenth and the end of the month. So it went down today. It was one oh six. Now it's down to one oh one point five. What that is in uh, American dollars and American uh, U.S. quarts, gallons. What do you pay? Gallon? I would say it's about four dollars. Uh, Four dollars a gallon. Including allowing a deleterious substance to the body of water frequented by fish. Judge Jeff Lance Okay, what else we got here? Look at this, I just picked up at the grocery store here. No, the the, the, the drugstore. And Trout River between the eleven and twenty thirteen. Trout River. That's up there. Anyway, stainless steel oversized flask. And it was his hip flask. Look at the size of this one, though. Oh, I guess close you can see it over there. But look. What the fuck is that going to fit? 40 ounces in there. For $20. You pay $20 just for another one. It's stainless steel, so there's not much you can go wrong with, I don't think. I got two. One for me, and one for me, friend. And I may go back and get more, because it's kind of neat. Imagine if you got that uh, engraved. I should send this up to the regiment, see if I can get a RCD put on it. Like a Royal Canadian Dragoons, you know, cap action. Uh, I got a couple little things here, I don't know what they are. I'd say handicrafts. They're from the deepest Africa, Spark of China, I'm sure. Oh. I don't know if you can see these, but they're wee little skulls. <laughs> I think I know what's in here. And I think it's not for public. Oh. 